yeah. And that's how I got a date with Nicki Minaj. Wow, good story. Man, I had the weirdest dream last night. Yeah? What happened? Well, for some reason, everyone in the kitchen was able to barf up whole fish. Entire fish! I know, right? Super weird. Not really. You sure it was a dream? I mean, I can barf up a whole trout anytime I want. Yeah, me too. What? Sure, watch. Barf! What the? You try. There's no way. I can't do that. Oh, really? Oh, oh what's happening? Oh. Oh, 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 it was just another dream. Dude, are you okay? It sounded like you were sleep barfing or something. <laughs> yeah, I guess I kind of was. Okay, let me pour you some medicine for that. No, I'm fine now. It was just, wait, why is that pouring up? It's not, it's pouring down. Well then why are we on the ceiling then? We're not, dude, we're on the wall. The wall? Duh. Okay. Why is gravity so messed up? I don't know. Maybe it's because... Ah! 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 Dude, you up? Uh, I'm not sure. This might just be another dream. What do you mean? Ah! 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 <laughs> Look how small he is. <laughs> ah! Orange, you okay? No, I'm not okay. I'm stuck in the middle of some creepy weird fish barfception dream sequence. Fish barfception? What are you talking about? You mean, you've never seen anyone barf up a fish? What? Of course not. And you've never stood on a wall and poured medicine sideways? Dude, you are talking crazy. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, now I know you're crazy. I'm home! I made it home! Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> yeah! What's up with Orange? No clue. He's going on about barfing up fish or something. That's so weird. Everyone knows there's no such thing as barfing up fish. Only dolphins! I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Care for some ceiling tea? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Story time. I'm Pear. And I'm vibrating. <laughs> Dude, you are vibrating. What gives? I heard today's story was a real snooze fest, so I drank a lot of coffee to make sure I'd stay awake. <laughs> coffee, 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 coffee. Oh, yeah. Dude, I didn't say today's story would make you sleep. I said it's about sleep. Oh, I understand now. My eyes are wide open. <laughs> uh, well, Today's story is an all-time classic, Sleeping Beauty. Oh, I know the story of Sleeping Booty. That story be poppin'. <laughs> it's not Sleeping Booty, it's Sleeping Beauty. See? Wait, looks like it's called Sleeping Booty. No buts about it. <laughs> Orange, did you change the title of this book? No, but don't worry. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of it someday. <laughs> no. Now then. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a king and queen. They had three baby girls. Wait, what are you talking about? They only have one baby girl. Then why are there three in the picture? Hmm? Probably because you've had too much coffee and now you're seeing three of everything? Ah, good thinking, pears. There is only one of me! Guys, guys, if all three of you talk at once, I can't understand what you're saying. <laughs> no! So the three princess sisters had three birthday parties and three evil witches showed up and put three curses on them. Orange, you're multiplying everything in the story by by three. And that's why my version is three times better. Copy, 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 woohoo! Oh! Okay, so first curse went to princess number one. Before her 16th birthday, she was doomed to prick herself on a spinning wheel, causing the entire kingdom to fall into a deep sleep. Okay, that's true. That's in the story. Curse number two, the kingdom got renamed to Booty, 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 Rockin' Everywhere. <laughs> okay, stop! That is not in the story. Yeah, huh? 
see? That is your handwriting, dude. You even used an orange pen. Agreed. The culprit could be anyone, but sadly, we'll never ever figure out who did it, which is a total bummer. Uh. <laughs> and the third curse was that everyone in the kingdom had to wear annoying orange merchandise at all times. But people actually thought that one was a pretty appealing. <laughs> oh, why, thank you. I will have more coffee, coffee, coffee. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, the princesses grew up and were getting close to their 16th birthdays. The king and queen ordered all spinning wheels to be destroyed. Every single spinning wheel in the kingdom. And you remember the name of the kingdom, don't you, Pear? I'm not going to say it. Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. <laughs> anyway, the first princess still managed to find a spinning wheel and pricked her booty on it. No, she didn't prick her booty. She pricked her finger. Well, that's not what it says in the book. See? No! Oh! <laughs> so then, across the entire kingdom, everyone's booty fell asleep, and everyone's booty stayed fast asleep until a prince showed up and kissed everybody's booty. Orange! What? I didn't write the story. Actually, you did. Okay, so maybe I did. But you got to admit, Sleeping Booty is a really fun version of the story. It puts the tail in fairy tale. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Well, that does it for this episode, everyone. That's the end. <laughs> get it? The end? Yes, I get it. <laughs> Wee! Copy, 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 copy. What's up? Ada Lau here, and today we got the whole gang. Say hey, gang. Yo, yo, yo! Hey, hey! Hey, hey, what's up? Now, don't sleep on today's episode, fruit lovers. In fact, Try not to sleep at all. <laughs> That's right. Today we're doing the try not to sleep challenge. And thank you, Grandpa Lemon, for demonstrating on what not to do. The rules of the try not to sleep challenge couldn't be simpler. If you sleep, you lose. So Grandpa Lemon already lost? To be honest, I think we all saw that one coming. Sorry, Grandpa Lemon, but you lose. Take him away. Whoa, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who are you? Now everyone prepare to be bored out of your gourd. Bye. This sloth folding clothes. Where is the matching sock, I wonder? Oh my gosh, it's right there, dude. Okay, I'll admit, watching a sloth fold clothes is pretty boring. Nothing I can't handle. I have season tickets to the Baltimore Oreos. <laughs> ah, the sock is right there. No, there. Ah, I want out, Orange. I can't take it. Sorry, little apple. If you want out, you have to fall asleep like Marshmallow. Has that bed shit cloud always been there? Take Marshmallow away! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Orange, can I just say that I'm concerned about where those guys are taking us after we lose? Yeah, there seems to be a lot of, uh, I, I want to say creepy clown laughter. Creepy clown laughter? I don't hear anything like that. Maybe you should get your non-existent ears checked. <laughs> now then, what snooze tabular treat awaits you in round two? I'll tell you right now, it's Grapefruit self-produced emo album from middle school. What the, how did you find that? Yeah, this is bad, dude. Okay, first off, it was middle school, okay? Second, it's not boring enough to make somebody fall. Oh my gosh, you're already asleep? Well. You know what that means. Take Little Apple away! Bastion, I couldn't help but notice you stayed awake during my song. That's true. Does that mean you liked it? Uh, no. The emo pain, it's back. Round three, coming at ya! Thank goodness. Anything to move on from Grapefruit's awful middle school music. Interesting that you should say that, Pear, because prepare to be bored out of your gourd by a rap video from Grapefruit's secret middle school rap persona, Little Squirty! Wow, Grapefruit, you've been busy with your secret music career, huh? What is this, huh? We doing a try not to sleep challenge here, or is this a rip on Grapefruit's artistic endeavors challenge? This stuff isn't even boring. Is it a bit dated? Perhaps. But quality is timeless. No one would ever fall asleep with little squirty spitting bars and sure enough passions to sleep. Take her away, boys! And then there were two. Orange, this isn't fair. For one thing, I feel attacked. For another, Pear is the most boring person of all time. Nothing's ever gonna put him to sleep. Throwing in the towel? No way. Grapefruit doesn't quit, okay? Grapefruit wins. Grapefruit perseveres. No, throwing in the towel. Huh? Oh no, I'm blind. I can't see. I... Oh, there is 
the towel I was looking for. Well, Grapefruit's knocked out. That means Pear wins! All right! Now take Grapefruit away, boys! Whoa! Is that Lil Squirty? Man, I used to hate his stuff back in middle school. Huh? Huh? Oh, hey, everyone. I just had the craziest dream. I dreamt that my favorite music personas from middle school got outed and... <laughs> It's time for another juicy episode of How To. Orange, you glad? <laughs> Today, Don Madness wants to know how to go to sleep fast. Great question, Don. I have trouble falling asleep all the time. Except for when Pear starts to talk. Uh, what? Except when I start to talk? What are you talking about? Uh, so boring. <laughs> ha, 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 very funny. <laughs> I thought so. All right, step one for falling asleep fast. Count sheep. Yeah, because doing math is boring enough to put anybody out cold. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Math isn't boring. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's not the math that puts you to sleep. It's having so many fluffy sheep surrounding you. What? Sure, by the time a couple dozen sheep are crammed into your bedroom, you're gonna have fluffy sheep wool touching every part of you. Really comfy stuff. You'll sleep like a baby. I don't think that's- 33, 34. Orange! <laughs> We're talking about counting sheep in your mind. Imaginary sheep. Oh, really? Huh, guess I screwed that one up bad. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, option number two is tire yourself out during the day. If you're worn out when bedtime rolls around, you'll fall asleep no sweat. Oh, this is great. I'm an expert at tiring people out. People say they're tired of me like all the time. You don't say. You can do all sorts of stuff to tire yourself out. Chase sheep around, play catch with a sheep, go on a hike through sheep country. Wait, what? Why do all these activities involve sheep? Oh, I'm sorry. Would you rather they involve cows? Nope, nope, nope. Sheep are fine. <laughs> Take them back, fellas. We won't be needing the cows today. Who are they? The moving company. <laughs> oh, brother. So anyway, once you're tired from playing with sheep all day, that's when you get all your sheep buddies to cram into your bedroom with you. And then Orange you got... enough with the sheep. Okay, okay. You heard them, guys. Back her up. Enough with the cows, too. Okay. Doesn't have to be cows. It could be anything you love, really. Press down. No! Presto change out! No! Presto change out! Ah! No! Presto! Uh-oh! What? What is it? I... I forgot the magic word! It's presto change out, dude! Presto cheeto? You just said it! Pretzel banjo? Presto change out! Oh, I remember it now! Oh, thank goodness! And I just lost it. Yeah, I should've got more sleep last night! Oh! <laughs> 